So thank you so much for coming in. No, my pleasure. Congrats and, uh, on everything. Thank you. Same yeah. to you, um, which we'll hopefully we'll get into. <laughs> and I know normally you are a, I mean, you're drinking a cappuccino. I guess it's a special one in Rome. Yeah. Um, but you're usually a tea guy. Yeah, I love Earl Grey tea. Okay. Yeah. Do you take milk with the tea? Not always. Okay. Sometimes. Depends on the company. Yeah. You know. Do you frequent shops and have teas? And I mean, do you find that uh, that the coffee shop that there's some sort of culture to the shop that you makes you maybe work better? For me, it's important for business because I don't want to sit down and have a whole meal. Right. But I want a place that can also, if we need to, it can become a longer place or right. if I need to get out of there quick. Yeah. And coffee shops are perfect because if you, depending upon how going you can you know be flexible where are you from originally Houston Texas You're from Houston Texas yeah. and when did you make your way you I made way? my way to Los Angeles okay. okay so I did the reverse commute I was in the music industry there and then I got into the film industry here which is the exact opposite okay most of the record labels are here that's kind of how I made the leap then got, got into Miramax, was there for a little bit, and then started my own company, and basically have been my own shop for last. It's nice to be your own. Years. Right. <laughs> it's nice to be your own boss. Yeah. Yeah. How did you make that leap from music to? Was that like kind of just a natural progression, or lost my job? Okay. It was. Hey, we like you, but the company just got bought, so. There's whole transition, probably won't renew contracts. Okay. So I went Miramax to October Films. Okay. And then at, at October, Barry Diller came in and bought October Films. And that was like, that's it. I'm not doing okay. a shuffle anymore. Yeah. And started my own business, launched um, Urban World Film Festival. Right. So that's. When now, was the first festival? 1997. Okay. And it's still. Yeah. So still it's, going. it's the largest minority festival in the world. And it takes place here in New York every September. Every September, okay. When did you have the idea for, for MoviePass? I was reading Sam Walton's book, who started Walmart. Okay. And he was talking about things in scale, like, like buying a lot of something. You know, Netflix was getting big, and it was like, why don't we have that for movie theaters? It was literally reading that book, and so that was 2006, I think. Okay, so that was a while ago. Yeah. And then I started going around all the studios and all the theaters, and everyone was like, no, no, mm -mm, no, no, no. And then slowly but surely, we just kept breaking down the doors, and yeah. kicking in doors, taking names, gunfights in the streets. It's unique in a sense that you're entering an industry who's notorious about, no, you can't play here. Right. You know, we own everything, you can't. And so it's like we have all theaters and all movies in our system, but we had to go over the top and defy them and, and kind of create it outside because they wouldn't let us play. So we're going to just do Spitfire, five Spitfire questions. Awesome. Okay. Okay. We're asking everybody the same questions. All right. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Who is your favorite superhero? Batman. Okay. What would you change your name to if you decided to change your name? Jesus. Um, Do you want to go with that one? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I was like, oh. uh, uh, how about J.F. Sebastian? That works for me. So there it is. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Congrats it's on everything. Thank you so much.